Hello, Brother Runner here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and the Naval Academy. And today, Gun Basics number one. Destroy a lightly armoured target. Um, we're going to go for optimised secondary guns because we're a battleship fighting a light cruiser. Um, and we get this kind of thing. I'm going to go for the 6-inch gun because... Usually pretty good choice against a light cruiser. Uh, we can also bring some five inch guns. Uh, and that should be absolute fine. Uh, I think I need a main. Uh, ooh. Uh, here we want base accuracy, so I'm going to go for the front tower three and the rear tower three. Uh, funnels. Not that important, but we'll add some for, for the look. Oh, come on. Let's use the triple funnel then. So we can get four in. Uh, ship is overweight, but we'll deal with that in a moment because we are not going to be going at 21 knots. Let's go for. 17.9 or 18 even yes thank you um now i do need two main guns just go with a couple of nine inch guns as usual giant four weight offset for no particular reason because early ships are completely stupid um Bring a bunch of underwater torpedo launchers, uh, balanced rudder, cramped quarters, uh, compound armor actually increases weight, of course it does. Um, I'll get it underweight somehow. Enhance reload. Okay. Uh, just need to get it under weight. Could probably reduce speed even more. Uh, and then it'll be taking off deck armor because, again, we're really not going to be suffering too much in the way of deck hits. And a light cruiser is not going to have anything much bigger than a 6 inch gun. So 0 0.6 is all we really need on the decks. Uh, same for the tops of the turrets. See, now we're underweight. Meaning, I mean, 9 inches of mid belt, 9.9 9 inches is probably fine. Probably want a little bit more on the fore belt and the aft belt. And a 6 inch gun will go through 10. I do have plus 38 armor quality though. So. Go something like that, and then I'm going to spend the rest of the money on crew. Yeah, fully veteran crew. There we go. This ship is not ugly. Uh, if you say so. <laughs> I actually quite like the look of this thing. It's just that 20% full weight off balance. It's just... It looks fairly symmetrical, so it's it's weird that it's like that. Anyway, about two percent chance to hit, which is not terrible actually. Here comes the projected cruiser. Had a lot of guns on it. But uh, already we're starting to score hits. And I want to keep the side on as much as we can.
What's the casement gun? Really? Torpedoes? No, of course it doesn't. Why would it have something sensible like torpedoes? Should just be able to blast it to bits. We'll get some hits eventually. There you go. Flash fire. <laughs> Oops, lazy. We won. That was short, short and sweet. There you go. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, let's go into Gun Basics too. I'll just put put these two together because uh, they're very similar. Um, very similar tasks, and that was a very, very short video. Uh, otherwise, test the significance of gun technology and firepower versus a heavily armoured battleship. Ooh. Okay, so I can either go for one battleship or a couple of armoured cruisers. Um, and then we can either optimise secondary guns or main guns, or we can go for a balance. We get small guns, big guns, and explosives. Um... I'm going to go for balanced gun techs, because uh, it tells me here that I have 11 inch maximum armor that I need to go through. Now, I can either go with the Battleship 1, the Battleship 2, or the Armored Cruiser 2. Now, the Armored Cruiser 2 is dreadful, but uh, we might be able to get away with it. Hmm... What kind of uh, casements can it fit? Uh, it's only four, so I probably will go with the battleship too. The same ship we used last time. Uh, almost. Now, to go through 11 inches of armor, we're going to have to use the 7 inch casement guns. And then we'll bring something lighter, like a 5, on the top deck. And the forward and back guns just to add fires and maybe go through lesser protected bits of the ship. Uh, main guns again, we need to pen. So I don't want the 13 because it's a Mark 1, even though I love the look of that turret. It's just a fun looking turret. Um, we definitely want to go for 12 in. Yeah, 12 inch gun is probably going to be able to do nasty things to them. So we'll go for a 12 inch gun and we'll go for. Hmm, actually. Go for a dual 12 inch on the back. And we're going to go for a single on the front. Nope. We're going to go for a single 9 inch on the front to keep our full weight offset down. <laughs> Uh, same tower setup as last time. Want all that base accuracy bonus you can get. Uh, speed, just going to drop right down. Uh, can increase the displacement a little bit. Don't want the bigger ship. But uh, I probably will want the, that extra displacement now. Upgrades. Basically any that we have access to. Now, we actually have access to these two. Upgraded from... Black, black power is just terrible. Um, seven and a half shell damage. A little bit of muzzle velocity. Ooh, that significantly reduces penetration. So we're going to go with gun cotton. And heavy shells to make the guns as punchy as possible. So even the 9 can go through the enemy armour, or at least I think it will be able to. Cramped quarters on the ship. 
Um, now then, again, we can probably take down the deck armor quite a lot. Without worrying too much. Uh, Good morning, crazy car. Uh, I'm just trying to think, how can I get this under weight? 2% we need to lose. I can, of course, make the ship just bigger. I do have the money. Uh, just messes with the full weight even more. this back a bit. Okay. Uh, I've got a little bit more weight to play with. So we can get a little bit more belt. Armor. Uh, Aft torpedo launcher. I could get torpedo launcher. They are quite heavy though. I kind of want to try and do this one without torpedoes. Um, but uh, that, that is a way of doing this. Is to just use torpedoes. And yes, I'm going to spend the rest of the money on crew. Season crew. Maybe more than seasoned. Yeah, a little bit more. Right, let's try this out. Uh, if this doesn't work, I'll just build a fast ship with uh, um, the uh, torpedoes. Uh, I'm not going to do uh, in-game bands when I'm doing Naval Academy. Um, crazy Cart, because... Um, it's, it's more to show people how to how to do it and stuff. But uh, if I can do single barrel only on the next ship, I will. Probably easy enough. Cause it's, uh, it'll be a um, Naval Academy mission. Uh, an early one. Three dreadnoughts or something. So the San Fulgencio. Fulgencio. Spanish pronunciation is not very good. Mississippi doesn't have torpedoes. It does have a 13-inch gun, which is pretty nasty. Fast as well. 22 knots. My goodness. Of course, I'm taking on water, which doesn't help. Rudder. And uh, going in front of me is sneaky sausages. Do a hard start of turn. Yeah, just to balance it out. I have done that before. Yeah, you just stick a <laughs> stick a torpedo on the back. Hey Alaric. Um I'm just working through the Naval Academy missions. Um we managed the Virginia one. All right, now you can go full forward. And now we're doing the, uh, is it gun tactics, gun training ones?
But of course, being pre dreadnoughts, it's basically a crapshoot. Oh, that was a good hit. Kill the captain. Come on. Okay, actually scored a hit. That's nice. Another hit. Bum 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 bum. As you can see here, you still do have target lock bug in some form, but uh, you really only see it on uh, stupid designs like this. But uh, it is working. There we go. Lots of flooding. Only need a couple of hits. And there we go. Down they go. 12 inch gun. More than enough punch to do that. No, the mixed battery is, uh, is terrible. But uh, we got the job done. And gun basic missions complete. Uh, thanks very much for watching. And I'll be back soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Treadnoughts. Bye for now.